What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Coast M Fishing. This episode, well as you know if you watched a couple of videos ago, I had a little kayak incident and where well, the kayak flipped and I lost a lot of gears. So if you haven't seen much videos lately because of that, it's because I don't have any gears to fish. So today I went to pay a visit to Mr. Monkey at Monkey's Snacker Shop and I got some vital supplies. The bag might be looking kind of big, but to remember, what I lost was I lost all my inshore light tackle stuff. Um, so some of my hard plastic baits, bucktail spoons, because we were going for carry, so that's in basic stuff you walk for the carry to the Spanish mackerel. But then the second half of the trip, or the plan was to fish that day was for the carrying upling, snappers in the shallows. So I did walk also with my DOAs, my shrimp, my jig heads. Um, well, leader, knife, etc. All those things when you bag as well. So I had to go restock. With all those things, you can't fish. I mean, yeah, yeah, you could probably do some other bait fishing and stuff. But this is my vital supply. So I had to go back and get it. So let me empty out this bag now, and we'll go through some of the items I got pretty quickly, and we'll check it out. My vital supply. You would have seen a video previously I went with some monkey, but this is just some additional stuff that I need on a regular basis. Oh, but before we continue, I just want to show you guys one thing quickly. One of my buddies, he's uh, selling these, well, it's lights. I think it's pretty good for night fishing or camping. Mr. Monkey has a couple in his stock as well, in his store as well. If you need some more for yourself, uh, message me below and I'll give you the guys contact number if you want to talk to him directly. One second, let me just turn off the lights and I'll show you this light quickly. All right, guys, so check it out. Not sure if you could see me, but maybe uh, you might see me as soon as I turn this thing on. One level, to second level, and even brighter. So check it out. Hope you can see that. This is a waterproof lantern. I mean, it could go in water, perfect for night fishing, camping. It's solar powered. It charges. You know, it's turned upside down. It charges. Um, I think it's a pretty cool idea. It also has a blinking up as well for if you need to signal for help. So I mean, it's pretty cool. I'll show you the box and then when I turn on the light, but check it out again. It has three brightness levels, I believe. One, two, and three. Pretty bright, solar powered, waterproof. Very good for night fishing or camping. All right guys, so this is it here. This is how it comes in the box. Um, like I said, solar powered, waterproof, white LED lantern. It's a pretty cool thing to have. Always good to have with you. Like I said, night fishing, camping, or even if you want to have a decoration outside of your home, you have a little event from some night on a lighted walkway. Pretty cool item. So check out Mr. Monkey, he has a couple in stock, but also if you want um, some wholesale or if you're interested in directly from the guy, message me below and I'll give you his contact. Support him. I like to support everyone, man. Okay, let's go through this bag here, guys. Let's empty this bad boy out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lots of stuff. We'll go through all of it now. Show you what I got back. All at Monkeys. All my vital supplies. Yeah, I think Crix is most people's vital supplies, but this is my vital supply. I'll go through each of these quickly just to show you what I lost and what I got back. And a couple, of, some new stuff as well, because Mr. Monkey got some new stuff, so I had to take a couple of it. All right, guys, a big mess is in front of me here. I try to go through as quickly as possible. Well, the first thing I got, I lost my kit, so I need to get back a kit. Mr. Monkey has this pretty good flambeau. This is a Xerus, so it has some separators and stuff. It's, it's watertight, basically. Um, prevents your stuff from getting rusty. Very sturdy kit, so I had to get back a kit, number one. The other thing I lost, I lost my bait knife. You should never go anywhere fishing without a knife. Always comes in handy for something, so I got back one of these as well. Pretty good knife, pretty sharp. Good price as well. Then of course I lost three, three spools a liter. Um, I did get back a 30 pound, I had an extra 30 pound test in, in hand already. So this is 20 pound test, a liter, a mono liter, snook, tap on, shallows. Um, that's basically that. Then also I lost most of my jig heads. So I got back quarter ounce, half ounce. Very important to have your jig heads. Most important for me, if, uh, because I the most of the kind of inshore fishing I do. Um, 
Where's I got back? He has these on, had these on special, so I had to get some shrimp. This is a two and three quarter inch shrimp. Shrimp are vital. If you know fish it before, almost everything takes a shrimp. And this color is pretty good for our waters. So we got back a shrimp. I also got back this shrimp as well. This is good for clearer water. So two sizes of shrimp. This is a three and three inch shrimp. And that is a two and three quarter. Slightly smaller profile on that one. This one is a snook and tap one killer. Snook master loves to use this. I'm gonna name this though. Uh, let me, oh yeah, this has got these jig heads as well. These are Terra Eyes, extra jig heads. Um, the Master ZZ showed me how to use these. And also the Terra Eyes are pretty good bait, so I got these as well. Using these, you, I'll be using these soon in some videos. Next up, well, I lost my bucktails as well, so I picked up a half ounce and a, a one ounce. Um, he doesn't have any quarter ounce in stock at the time. I believe he said he's getting soon. So when he does get that, I'll have to go back some quarter ounce because quarter ounce is important. And remember guys, if you're watching this from away, I'll also leave the links for all of these products on for Amazon links. So if you want to get it there as well, I'll get I'll put that up for you. I got a couple tsunami glass minnow jigs. When we went for carrick last time, I had one of these, took one cast and it was gone. So they like this, pretty cheap. I think it's like $20 for one. So I took to pick up two of these. Uh, what else? Oh yes, I lost my spoons as well. Um, the efficiency of the spoons are very limited in stock. I hardly have any more remaining. Mr. Monkey's bringing these new spoons, so I bought a couple to give them a try. Uh, I think this is the 10 ounce. And this is the 50, I mean 10 gram. This is 15 gram. So we'll give them a run and see. Let's see how it goes. Spoons always important. And next up was well, you know, Yozuri blackbacks. We go back for the carrot again, have them in, in a gay. Um, great baits, great baits. Can't go wrong with the Uzuri crystal minnows. Black backs. I'll leave the link in the description below as well. And we had this this guy um, on, on sale. I mean, if you get a crystal minnow, any crystal minnow on sale, just buy it. It makes sense. This color is a natural color. Snook will kill this in clear water. Oh yeah, I don't know if you see him advertising recently. He got these. These are some slow jigs. Hopefully I get to go back with Brett soon. I get to try this out again. Um, I know the Moonshine, um, Karanga Pling and stuff. They would take this, they would love this. So I got that just because I had these small jigs in that kit as well. I need to get back some small jigs as well. I'll get a few more of these when I get some more dinero. Next up is these bad boys here, Grub Tails. Um, you never, you've never really seen me buy these before, but these are the most versatile baits you can probably get. Again, ZZ showed me, well, he taught me about these. He always use, well, you see me use this in, when we go for wabin or wolfish, as the trailers and the spinner baits and on the jigs, great for that. But also you could snap a jig head on, onto this and use it for snook and tap on. They destroy this. Um, also, if you're going, um, if you want to drop down for a snapper or grouper, a bucktail jig and one of these on it, deadly combo so I got that as well and finally you know I must get my vital supply vital vital supply and I got a few packs well booyah DOA cows uh, Mr. Monkey got a whole host of new colors I mean the variety is amazing that he has now um, he even got so many colors I used to use before well this one you know is a glow um, killer color. I've used this quite a lot. You guys would probably have this in your tackle already. Um, always have a pack of this in your arsenal. This color, you would have seen me using this a few times, but I didn't have any more because it all ran out. This color, tap one and snorkel of this. This color works pretty good in clear water. It's a kind of a naturalish color. It blends, it goes well in clear water. They hit this really well. Snook especially. I think this was one of the first colors I ever used in the air, actually. And I started to get snook on tap on it. If you watch the early tap on canal videos, you'll see me using this color, New Penny. This, I've never used this color, but it looks amazing. It's the glow and silver. You see me use the glow and gold. So I had those already. I didn't have to get back those because I had a couple packs from before. But this color, um, I've never seen Mr. Mr. Monkey. Maybe he had it before, but this is going to be a killer. This will be good for, you know, dropping down in the shallows. You can get snapper, um, 
carrying a playing anything with this as well as the regular snook tap one so i can't wait to try this and then i have a trip planned for tobago soon you know the water over there is pretty clear and fish like realistic stuff so check out this color it's like a clay a gold tint this i think will be a real killer in clear water so i can't wait to try this he got a whole set of other colors if i had a chance i'd buy one of everyone maybe i might go back and get some he got a nice blue and white which i think will work very well uh, that'll be a killer color a uh, couple other colors that i he got a red i think uh, color got a lot of colors and i think i have to go back and buy a pack of each but those colors i bought there they're going to be killers for sure so basically that's the stuff that i had to get back i lost all of my inshore gear and i had to go and get back this stuff before i get start back fishing so i know you're fed up with these sit down videos but now i have my gears back in stock we're gonna start back fishing soon so thanks for watching till the end of this video guys thanks for the continued support keep watching and sharing the videos it's the most important thing i really appreciate it until the next fishing video, coming soon, hopefully get some big ones or some small ones. Anything we catch we take in, fishing is fishing. So thanks for watching. Keep fishing. Fish on.